We're looking at the drone shot over here, all the beautiful Impala. Oh, look at them run. Look at them bounding about there. Some of them munching away, not really minding about what's going on today. And if you look very carefully, you can actually see there's not a lot of grass growing on this area. Now, it's actually quite deceiving from when you're on the ground driving around. You don't get to always see these beautiful aerial views. And it's actually quite amazing. I'm trying to think, Exy, we were, not, I was walking with David, I think, the other morning. We walked through this area and it didn't look that bad. But there's actually some, well, some really sort of bald spots that you can see, especially around the pans. And that might be also where the animals have feasted the most, though. There they are, darting around. And that typically happens at watering holes is the vegetation disappears first. But it's, it's not a lot of grass. And that's something we've seen even on the big open plains in front of DRC. It's these small little shrubs that unfortunately I don't think have too much nutrition. The elephants have been munching away on them, but I haven't really seen the impala feasting upon them. But maybe when they get desperate, they will start to eat on them. But isn't that just the most incredible view from, from the drone and Connor that you're doing an absolutely sterling job? And now you can really sort of see what uh, the savannah is really all about, is that the savannah biome is basically these grasslands with these trees that grow in and amongst around them. Now, this isn't a particularly big open area, but it's a very, very, very typical of the savannah. And the trees that we normally see, you can see a marula tree, the bright green tree in the middle of the, so the bottom of your screen, and then just to the right of it, which is where all the buffalo weaver nests are, are is a big knob thorn. And those two trees seem to be the, the trees that are here or growing in this area. And then a couple of small guari trees, the smaller ones and around there. But other than that, there's, of course, there's not, um, unfortunately, too much else uh, than that. Now, James is apparently looking for Karula behind the dam wall. And wouldn't it be amazing if we were able to spot Karula, of course, from the air, just see her walking around? And that's some, something that this drone might be able to do, is that in the future, we may be able to start spotting animals from like this, because you can actually see them quite easily. You can see the wild, is that a wildebeest? It could, I think it's a wildebeest in and amongst, there we go, sorry, a little bit difficult to see wildebeest with all the impala, and we might get lucky enough to see Karula walking across the dam wall. Now, I have something I have to show you, and I know a 